Well, meantime, in Maryland, the search is still on for the shooter who opened fire on Morgan State University's campus. Five people were hit. Luckily, all are expected to survive. The students at the historically black university were on lockdown for hours last night as campus and Baltimore police searched for the gunman. So far, there are no arrests. Correspondent Evan Lambert is live on that Baltimore campus. And Evan, are policing releasing any police releasing any additional information with this? Nicole, yes, a couple updates just within the last few hours, and this came from the police commissioner, Richard Worley. He's saying that one of those five victims is out of the hospital, has since been released from the hospital. All five, he says, are, quote, unintended targets. This shooting, according to police, resulted from two groups who were in an argument with each other and three people pulled out guns. It's still not clear beyond one how many others fired their weapons. This shooting, though, plunging the campus of Maryland's largest historically black university into a lockdown last night around 930 at those reports of shots fired on campus. Police saying someone or a group of people fired a gun, hitting the five victims, four who are students, four men, and a woman ages 18 to 22, according to law enforcement. A homecoming related event had just wrapped up here on campus and students were making their way to a ball to celebrate the crowning of Mr. and Mrs. Morgan State. Baltimore police and the city's mayor pledging swift arrest for those responsible. And then you'll hear from a witness. For those who decide to come on this jewel of a campus and inflict this, inflict this pain and trauma on their community, we're going to find you. We won't stop. Turn yourself in because we are not going to tolerate that happening here or anywhere else. Bullets hit the glass behind my head. Um, it just it's another day here. Uh, it wasn't supposed to happen, but it happened. And Morgan State's president sending a message to students this morning saying in part, quote, what happened on our campus was such a senseless act of violence perpetrated on our community. It was so disappointing to learn of what took place, especially after what was a family filled and fun evening of celebrating the pageantry and beauty of our students. Now, in light of this shooting, the president has said that the university will reevaluate the planning of some of its homecoming related activities for the rest of the week. We're expecting an update on that sometime today. Nicole. All right, Evan Lambert live there in Baltimore. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.